Guys, I know we built a lot of cars on this channel, but this one has got to be by far the most jacked up damaged car we have ever tried to build. Y'all enjoy this one. So you have seen by now by the thumbnail that it is time for us to build our SCDRA rod. And here it is. What do y'all think? <laughs> Just kidding. So we picked this car up. This car was an amazing ride. At one point, we've raced against this one. FRC Racing had this car, number 14. I'll throw a picture up right here. This thing was bad to the bone. Unfortunately, went up to Talladega Short Track and got into a major wreck. Completely destroyed the whole right front. And as you can see, the whole rear end is just, I mean, gone, guys. <laughs> So we bought this car because we wanted the cage and we got it for a really good deal. So I have already spent a lot of time cutting out a bunch of the old, excuse me, a bunch of the old cage. So I am going to get this cage hopefully out real quick. And this will be kind of like the foundation for our new build, which I'll show you once we go get it in the back. So we're going to see if we can get this thing out. Like I said, I've spent about four or five days cutting a bunch of old stuff out and uh, hopefully this thing will lift right up. So let's get it. Success. And there you go. That, my friends, is what a full cage out of an EG hatch, looks like. So she was just sitting over there. Now it's sitting right here. So this is a Larry Dickinson cage. It is a very well built. Of course, they added all this out here to the back for the decking, which we plan on keeping. But this here itself is a Larry Dickinson cage. And then of course they added all this front stuff on, which I could not keep. And so, what we're gonna do is go over here and show you guys how the car looks now, cause it doesn't look anything like a, a race car. While we're walking over here, I do wanna let you guys know that I am now officially a dealer for Larry Dickinson, for Dickinson Cages. Huge shout out to them. Guys, their cages are the best, hands down. You will not buy another front wheel drive cage from anywhere that's better than Larry Dickinson. So. If you guys are in the market, please sh spread the word, share it. Let your guys know that I can hook you up with cages. We're going to be getting a shipment of cages here that I'll actually have in stock. But I also can hook you guys up with a little bit of a discount, which gives me a little bit of a kickback for being a dealer. And so if you guys are in the market for a cage and you guys want the best, I promise you, you will not find a better cage than these for the price. So y'all check this car out now wow <laughs> doesn't look like a race car anymore but now you can see this whole rear end is just i mean gone so this thing uh got bent all up and there's pretty much nothing even holding that strut on anymore all this is gone so but i had to peel back the sides to get the cage off which is sad but i may save this because that's pretty cool looking and uh, I still have to get the suspension off, but it was really cool because this cage just bolted in. So now the plan is to, of course, all this is bent, but I'm going to get all of the steering out just like Travis did up north. Once I get it on the trailer, I'll take the, all the suspension off, anything that's worth saving. Of course, I'll take the steering column and all out, pedals, struts, lower control arms, all that jazz. And then this thing will be done. I'm not going to show you guys me stripping this thing all down. You know what that entails. So what I'll do is, over the next couple of days, I'm going to get this thing up on my trailer. Currently, the other pure stock is sitting on it. But I'm going to get this thing up on the trailer where I can jack it up, have plenty of uh, workspace to get under here and get everything we need off. I'm going to take like brake lines and everything off. It's pretty much just going to be a shell. So once I get it up on the trailer and get most of it stripped down, we'll come back and I'll show you what I've done. 16400 degrees we are out here with the old 14 and like i mentioned to you guys me and dad are out here just killing it 
got every single good part off this thing that you can imagine. She is completely stripped down to nothing. There's the damage that you can see right there. Hold on. All right, that's it, right? That is the last hoorah for this car. Poor, poor car. This thing was a beast whenever it was ready. Or running, sorry. But this is the last time you guys will see it. She's headed to the crusher. So we got all of her good parts. You got a 14. You guys may ask, Dad, what is good about this? Huh? Why do we get this? Tell them. We need that nut. That's right. <laughs> but, so there you go. That's it on this one. Now, to show you guys the good car. So let's go get it. So it is multiple, multiple weeks later, like a couple of months, and we're headed out to the field. Dad's coming with the tractor, but I'm gonna show you guys the donor car, or actually the car that that cage that we just got out is going in. So y'all check this out. All right, so here it is. 1991, two or three. EG hatch so it looks rough right now but this thing is actually in amazing shape there is not one dent on this thing all this is just black paint where somebody tried to paint it but you can see that car that we just took to the scrapyard all the pieces are sitting out here so but this is going to be our SCDRA car so I'm really pumped about it. So just a quick backstory behind it. Travis picked this car up for really cheap. There you go, all the parts. But Travis picked this car up for really, really cheap. And I ended up parting it out. So it had a motor, a transmission, all kind of stuff in it, which is right, which is no longer in it. But we parted everything out. Heads up, buddy. And the cool part is, is if you watched our How Much Does It Cost to Race video, I actually parted this thing out and paid its the car back off. So everything that we parted out money-wise that came back to us paid for this car. So as of right now, well, actually we made a little bit of money selling like uh, transmission, motor, the door cards, some of the interior, all the glass, uh, or not glass, the um, carpet the rear trunk this back glass we sold the uh catalytic converter i think we sold under it i don't know a bunch of stuff so we actually have no money invested in this one because of that opportunity to be able to sell so but uh dad you ready to get this thing stripped down yeah what you think you think it's uh gonna be bad to the bone when we're done all right so with that said uh we'll get this thing strapped up hook up to it and take it to my house. So here we go. Let 
mean, uh, the emergency brake came on. It wouldn't be in gear, it's got a transmission out of it. Is the e-brake pulled? Nope. All right, buddy, be careful. Woo! What happened, bro? There she goes. Time to go get stripped down. What y'all think about this uh, dirt track video? Y'all let me know. Should I actually get me a cart once we start getting some red dirt on this thing? I'm excited about this thing. But look at that. The bone yard is clean. Looks good. Here you go. She is in the FFR shop. So you guys know what this means. It means it's about to be down. It's about to go down. So the last car that we did this and pulled into this shop front wheel drive style like this right here was the 13 car. And if you go back and look, the very first video of the 13 RSX build started just like this and so round two times the few cars we built in between but not really in this shop is about to go down so you guys better hold on because this one's going to go fast so the cool part about this one is like the work that i got to do on the doors is no work because i've got the doors from this car right there and the other door is right there. So, like, as far as doors and fenders and all that stuff, they're already done. So, they're right there. And so, front bumper's already off. Motor's already out. So, the game plan, really, is to, like, legit strip this thing all the way down. And when I mean all the way down, this one's different than our cars. The SCDRA rules are a lot different which we'll go into that in a little bit more detail once I start getting everything done, but every bit of this will come out. Like we'll take this thing down to literally just these outsides and cut the entire top off and all this will be just gone. But the cage you saw in the beginning of this video, which is behind the shop, once I get this thing completely stripped to nothing, to I mean the lightest shell we can, that cage will go right down in there and then we'll start beautifying it, making it nice. And then Austin and Kevin and dad will probably take over the front section and do the power plant and all. So that's that. Really excited about this one. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fast. No doubt going to be fast. But uh, we got a lot of people to thank um, for making this happen, which we'll do that as we're building it but for now you guys do not forget that like i said we are a uh, dealer for larry dickinson cage we're going to do some really cool stuff coming up soon for larry um we're working out some really cool video series for him and uh doing some uh really cool install stuff so but like i said i'm pumped about this scdra stuff these guys are in a different league when it comes to front wheel drive so i really think this is going to challenge us as a team to be better and uh, get up there with some guys who are actually running really, really fast laps. It'll cause us to uh, do a lot more traveling, but that's, uh, that's something that a bridge will cross once we get to it. So, But in the next video, you're going to see us stripping this thing down. I'm really going to get to hammering. Uh, as Outfits Garage uh, says, we're going to put the hammer down and get to, to going on this. This is actually a time crunch video because the first race that we are shooting for with this is the Ice Bowl. I think it's January 4th, 5th, 6th, or 3rd, 4th, 5th, somewhere in there, Talladega Short Track, so with A. Flynn behind the wheel. But that's uh, all that information will be coming uh, really soon. So thank you guys so much for checking it out. We're coming for the SCDRA title uh, or a win. That's our goal there. So. You guys, if y'all are interested in that, I really do uh, uh, enjoy making these videos. So this is going to be a challenge and really going to challenge me 
to build an SCDRA car because there's a lot more things that you can do to the cars than we're used to. And I'm not used to doing anything other than stock. So to go from something stock to go to like really built engines and really built suspensions and things like that is gonna be fun. So we look forward to being up there. Hope you guys look forward to the build series. Like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think. Until then, we'll catch you next time.